Hello and welcome to Intelligence uh, 570, All Source Intelligence. I'd like to welcome you to the class. My name is Dr. Troy Mitchell and I'm here to uh, go on this journey with you as you navigate your 10 weeks uh, through the Henley Putnam course. <clears throat> as we go through, I'd like to welcome you. I hope you enjoy the course and the curriculum that we have. And you'll notice that even within the discussion post that we've designed within uh, modules one, three, and then even your end of course uh, critiques, we're always trying to strive to make this a better course. And we can do that through your help. And also, if there are adjustments or refinements uh, within the syllabus or other assignments, discussion posts, relationships that we end up having that are confusing or draw any concern, please let us know. I will tell you that when we work on communication and things of that nature. I'm based out of Sydney, Australia. And so um, if we look at Pacific Standard Time, we'll use that as the primary time when the assignments are due once we come to that individual point. You'll find out a little bit about me from the course syllabus, as well as if you have any questions, please let me know. I am an active duty Marine officer uh, since at least 1999 and uh, continue to serve Henley Putnam for over uh, five years at this point. Uh, since they hired me in 2011. If there's anything that we can do um, or anything to assist you, please, please let us know. If you uh, haven't already, I'd ask you to please take the time and look at the course syllabus. The course syllabus will talk a little bit about myself, but also talk about the course and what we're looking at uh, for the course and building upon other courses within the intelligence uh, practicum of the graduate studies. For this course, All Source Intelligence, there's a fundamental understanding that you know about the six different types of collection disciplines uh, supporting the analysis that would occur in this individual course. In addition, you also see how the course is broken down into uh, the five modules, the required textbooks, and some of the recommended. I will tell you that although there are course uh, textbooks that are recommended for this class, the primary research methodology supports using the virtual library. The virtual library from EBSCOhost or uh, ProQuest using theses and uh, dissertations to assist you, as well as other um, scholarly peer-reviewed articles that you can find. Peer-reviewed, as a reminder, are always uh, seen as a hierarchical uh, research method uh, to support your analysis as opposed to uh, normal websites and other things of that nature. Although it does support uh, open source intelligence using some of the different websites or news articles uh, keep in mind that please use uh, much of the peer-reviewed because they're more scholarly and also provides uh, analytical approaches to it. If you need to uh, get in t contact with me, the easiest way, based uh, with me being in, based in another continent, it primarily is through email. Email is the easiest means uh, since um, Sydney, Australia is 14 hours ahead uh, of the Eastern Standard Time. Uh, email is the easiest means and I will always get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, typically, I always have either an iPhone or my computer or iPad, something always within an arm's reach, uh, so I can make sure I uh, contact you back. I will tell you that uh, this is one of my more favorite courses. I've taught uh, 10 different courses or more uh, aboard the Henley Putnam University and assisted, but I think that intelligence analysis uh, is one of the cornerstones of what we do as just intelligence professionals throughout um, our individual uh, time. And what it also does is allows you to take away bias and understand what different cognitive and organizational biases are that support um, different individuals' thought processes. It can support you in your daily walks of life, in your daily um, interactions with others, also in your critical thinking skills as you continue to advance towards your individual goals. And as such, I would remind everyone that this is a master's class. So <clears throat> with that being said, looking at sticking with the APA format for the sixth edition that each of you should have within your uh, various libraries, but also making sure that it's a scholarly work that you're providing. When we do discussion posts, discussion posts should have citations associated with them, and then also referencing them at the bottom. In addition, um, I am not opposed to giving B's, C's, D's, or F's on any individual's papers. Um, this is supposed to be a class of higher learning, uh, whereas um, shifting away from any types of uh, graces uh, throughout. So please, you know, be a professional, be tactful in uh, your words that you use, particularly in the discussion post. If there are any issues, bring them up to me. Um, but at the same time, make sure that we're using uh, 
your ability to conduct analysis and uh, research uh, at the graduate level. And that uh, remains throughout the entire course. Uh, intelligence analysis is just a fascinating subject, uh, especially when you pull in all those different ends. And with that, you can make the most out of this course through your research. Ask me questions, ask each other questions. We are all in this together uh, in building the relationships. If there's only one student in the class, then it's a dialogue between the student and myself. And we only can make the class better if there are also uh, inquisitive natures and inquisitive questions that are posed either in the announcements section, the student forum section, or even within the discussion post. We are all teaching each other uh, throughout the entire course. If you're new to online learning, I'd ask you just to get familiar with Moodle a little bit. If you have any questions about maybe even what articles to research when we talk about different topics throughout the course, ask the virtual librarian. Uh, Dr. Hainsworth is uh, amazing and she's there to help you. A lot of the students uh, will go throughout the course without even using the virtual library, uh, which is really criminal as they try to do their own personal research using Google and other uh, uh, different apparatuses. Keep in mind though, it's also a uh, class that is unclassified. So uh, please refrain from any type of uh, brooches or spillages uh, associated with any type of intelligence practice. I know that many of you come from different fields. You come from different backgrounds. With that being said, make sure that you stay away uh, or use those uh, feedbacks to help the class. You all have a different approach uh, to your learning styles. And you also have a different um, fundamentals that form the pillar of who you are. And with that, you know those experiences and how you potentially uh, supported intelligence operations in war, uh, on the streets, uh, fighting crime and things of that nature, or just in other apparatuses throughout critical thinking. They all can be supportive and all can be helpful to other students in the class. And that's what makes the class rich. Uh, we only get as much as we put into these classes. And that's where I would ask you that uh, turn this into another family, a way to talk to others about uh, uh, critical thinking skills and apparatuses. But as we do that, keep in mind as well that the discussion post um, are required. Uh, each uh, discussion is required within that individual module and if the class navigates past that module and a student has not completed the discussion post it will result in a zero. Each individual discussion uh, should, um, each student should provide feedback back to the other students in the class <coughs> as is an expectation mainly because each student learns a little bit differently and we're all, again, here to help each other out. Keep in mind that deadlines are important. Uh, for individual papers and things of that nature, I expect them on the individual dates assigned within the course. If, uh, say in this case, it's module one, well then the uh, papers are due by the 14th of the month. If it's a uh, module two or in module four, then it's either due if we're talking about February the 28th or 29th, or if we're talking about uh, some of the other months that have 31 days and then the very last day of 31. When we talk about your final submissions though in uh, module 5, we actually would like them uh, in week 9 uh, preferably. I can give some grace to go into week 10 but the problem is is that uh, the class closes on the 15th of that uh, last module and with that I have five days to give the individual grades to the university. And that's where I uh, prefer that all assignments are done. Uh, most likely in week nine would be preferred. Uh, worst case scenario, as life intervenes, that is where communication comes in. If you're going to be late on an assignment, just talk to me. Uh, I, have, I do give um, deductions on individual grades uh, for lateness because you have lives and I have lives and we're all working uh, throughout our normal schedules and things of that nature, that we all have competing interests. But we're also here to go through this journey together. And so for that, if a student does not turn in an assignment on time, then I will give them a zero. But you can prevent that just by communicating with me about how uh, we can go and help each other through this process. If we're looking for course extensions, then that is another process. And we need to start that at least in module three, potentially module four of the class. And then when we get into um, the actual grades again, just making sure that uh, my goal is to submit your grade between the 15th and the 18th so that at least make sure that we're uh, hit the mark with the Henley Putnam University with all grades submitted 
uh, no later than the 20th. <clears throat> Communication is important. You have uh, individual things going on within your lives as well as I do. I have a family with uh, three kids and uh, you know, now as we live in Sydney, this is our uh, 13th or 14th move um, since I've been in the military. All that to say is life intervenes and the communication aspect is the most important thing that we can do in this class to make sure that we achieve your goals. Um, please let me know if uh, you're going to be out of town, if you're going to be away, or, or assignments can be late, or something is going to happen that's going to affect any concerns that you have for the class. Some of the times they may even be textbooks, uh, but if you don't have the APA Manual 6 edition, I would highly encourage you and highly recommend you that you do that. Uh, because it talks about various nuances and facets uh, for how you should be writing your papers with your title pages, in some cases abstracts, and then going into your overall research page and then your references. If you have tables and if you have um, figures, remember they have a title above them and then they have a descriptor below them. So there are certain nuances of APA that we need to uh, make sure that we focus on. But at the end of the day, I would say have fun. Have fun in the class as we each try to navigate through different methodologies to support your analytical approaches, to support uh, either strategic policy uh, makers or commanders and individual decisions as we try to uh, usurp uncertainty, surprise, deception, things of that nature, to make a common end state and a common goal that we are moving our organizations in the manner um, to achieve success. I thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this class. And again, if you have any questions, please ask. If you have any questions about different methodologies or approaches, whether we're talking about a center of gravity analysis, a car buying analysis, um, structured uh, analytical techniques, or things to meld or cue mix uh, or be redundant in different collection opportunities to fill voids and hypotheses, just ask. We're all here together. I hope you enjoy the class. Welcome again to uh, Intel 570, All Source Intelligence, and I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for those that serve.